Today I'll be demonstrating the use of BD Auto Shield Duo safety pen needles. These needles have been developed to reduce the risk of needle stick injury for healthcare workers, patients and their care providers by automatically locking the contaminated needle at both ends after use. For full written instructions on how to use BD Auto Shield Duo safety pen needles, please read the instructions for use leaflet in the product box. Ensure you follow your facility's protocol for medication management and administration at all times. Prepare the injection. For example, when using a cloudy or mixed medication, resuspend the solution by rolling and tipping the medication pen device 10 times. Check to make sure it is properly resuspended before attaching the pen needle. Take the peel tab off the pen needle. Holding the outer cover, gently push the pen needle onto the medication pen and twist in a clockwise direction until it meets resistance. Be sure not to over tighten the needle as this will make it more difficult to remove later. Only remove the outer cover from the pen needle. Some medication pens require that you check the flow of the device by priming the needle before each injection. Always follow the manufacturer's instructions for preparation. Dial two units, point the medication pen up and press the button till the counter returns to zero. A drop or stream of liquid should appear at the needle tip. If not, repeat as per the pen manufacturer's instruction. If the medication pen still does not prime, change the needle and repeat these priming steps. A priming droplet may remain within the shield and be left on the skin after injection. To perform the injection, dial up the prescribed dose on the medication pen as per the manufacturer's instructions. Assess the area you will inject into. The abdomen is the preferred site, but be sure not to inject into areas of inflammation, edema, ulceration, infection, or lipohypertrophy, which are fatty lumps of damaged subcutaneous tissue. Speak to your diabetes educator if you have concerns about the injection site. Hold the medication pen in the grip of your palm. Your thumb should not be on the button during this step. Your second hand will be used to maintain a skin brace or pinch up. BD Auto Shield Duo safety pen needles are spring loaded, therefore need a firm flat surface to inject into. You can achieve this by bracing or stretching the skin to make the skin tissue taut or by using a skin lift allowing approximately two and a half centimetres of skin between the fingers after the skin lift is completed. A skin lift method should also be used when there is a risk of accidental intramuscular injection due to limited subcutaneous tissue thickness. Insert the needle into the skin at 90 degrees in one continuous motion until the clear outer shield of the pen needle retracts and the white sleeve is flush with the skin. You will hear an audible click to let you know the needle is now inserted. Do not start to deliver the dose until the needle is firmly in place. It's important not to press the needle too hard into the skin. This may result in an accidental intramuscular injection. Maintain constant pressure against the skin and deliver the medication dose by depressing the button with your thumb until the unit counter returns to zero. It's important to count to 10 before removing the needle from the tissue. Be sure not to pinch less than two and a half centimetres of skin or hold the pen as you would a syringe and do not inject with the needle at an angle towards your fingers as this may result in a needle stick injury. Once the entire dose has been given, hold the pen needle in place for 10 seconds and lift the medication pen away from the skin. The inner shield of the BD Auto Shield Duo safety pen needle will automatically deploy and lock in place. A red indicator band will appear confirming the shield is locked in place and the pen needle has been used. You may notice a small amount of liquid on the skin after injection. This is from the priming dose. Always hold the pen needle by the white sleeve when removing. Twist the medication pen counterclockwise to remove the needle. Once removed, 
you will notice a second lock has now been deployed at the back end of the pen needle. Protection is confirmed when an orange shield deploys and covers the cartridge end of the pen needle. We advise not to place your fingers on either end of the activated shields covering the pen needle. Discard the used pen needle into a sharps collector and responsibly dispose of all other packaging materials. In summary, attach needle onto medication pen for injection. Dial two units, point the pen up and press the button. Dial the prescribed dose. Insert the needle straight into the skin in one continuous motion until the clear outer shield retracts and the white sleeve is flush with the skin. If there is a concern for potential intramuscular injection, use a wide pinch, allowing approximately two and a half centimetres of skin between the fingers after the pinch is completed. Maintain constant pressure against the skin and deliver the dose by depressing the button with your thumb. Do not remove the needle until the dose has been completely delivered. Refer to the instructions of the pen manufacturer for specific holding time. Once the entire dose has been given, lift the pen away from the skin. The inner shield will automatically deploy and lock in place. A red indicator band will appear confirming the shield is locked in place and that the pen needle has been used. Always hold the pen needle by the white sleeve when removing. Twist the medication pen counterclockwise Protection is confirmed when the orange shield deploys and covers the needle. Discard used pen needle into a sharps collector. Dispose of all plastic packaging materials. If you have any further questions about the use of BD Auto Shield Duo safety pen needles, contact BD Diabetes Care or speak to your diabetes educator.